Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and I'm here with Michelle and today we're going to go over the four main steps of character analysis in preparation for a theatrical role. These are all adapted from Natalie Portman's acting masterclass. It's so important to consider the backstory, viewpoints, and biases of your character. Though your lines may be limited, all the work you do in preparation will shine through in your performance. It's okay, it's even beneficial sometimes to make a little bit of backstory up, as long as it's consistent with the text and the choices that other actors make. So let's start with step one, getting to know your character. The first thing you want to do is develop a timeline of your character's emotions and reactions throughout the scene or play that you're performing in. Find areas of emotional or mental change or moments of clarity or major realizations. A way that you might want to do this is by breaking your piece up into beats or sections that represent one subject or a complete thought. Go through your script and pay special attention to your character while marking these sections. If there's a noticeable change sh tone shift or a major plot development, that's where you want to mark your beat and start a new section. Depending on the pacing of your show or the length, it may be from a few lines to even two pages. Secondly, you want to perform a bit of psychological analysis. Identify how the character wants to be perceived and how they act in different relationships. Find specific and unusual thoughts and actions the characters may have, like you know a specific fear or an intense desire. Be sure to avoid judging your character in this. Just be honest. And ask yourself two questions. How does the character see themselves and how do they want to be perceived? Give these a bit of thought and then write out your answers. Uh, now on to step two, taking a closer look at a character arc and relationship dynamics. The only relationship in Good Luck, was, um, which is the scene Michelle and I did together, is between Paige and Kate. Um, their relationship is all about power dynamic and psyching each other out, and it's very rare that you see them speak genuinely to each other, and the compliments that they give each other are mostly backhanded. They speak about how wonderful this role they're auditioning for is, without addressing the fact that they're in direct competition with each other. For the majority of the scene, Paige seems to hold most of the power, and it's Kate's apparent weakness that actually gives her a way in to screw over Paige in the end. So how does Kate view Paige? Um, Kate initially views Paige with admiration and possibly jealousy because, you know, here's a much more accomplished act actress in direct competition with her. Um, she's surprised at how bold and overly confident Paige is about her looks and her talent and her ability, and it leads to Kate's interactions with Paige having an undertone of desperation. I think Kate would only bring up the fact that she doesn't have an agent as an attempt to get a connection with Paige, and she does in a sense want to learn from her because Paige has a lot more experience than she does. Over time though, she realizes that Paige is an idiot and thinks that her looks will make up for her lack of effort and preparation. And this is when Kate realizes that she can manipulate Paige. So how does Paige think Kate views her? Um, Paige has a larger ego and thinks that Kate respects and admires her, which technically is kind of true. And Paige never doubts that Kate doesn't see her as superior until the part at the very end of the scene where she discovers that Kate has learned the lines actually in Farsi for the audition, which puts her at a disadvantage. But still, Kate um, is ultimately seen as a lesser well-meaning actor who is no competition for Paige. Otherwise, Paige would not trust her alone with her script. Step three will to be further developing your character's thoughts and backstory. Keep the setting and time period in mind. How might this influence your character's motivations and biases? If it's a setting or time period that's quite different from your own, maybe try doing a bit of research for some historical or cultural context. The more you understand what shapes your character's personality and objectives, the more truthfully you can play them. Ask yourself what the stakes of your character's actions are. This may determine the intensity to which you portray them. Is this a life or death situation? Does your character have ulterior motives? Or are they really indifferent about the situation? All of this will contribute to specific vocal and physical choices you make about your character. For the most part, your character will likely only be seen on stage when they're interacting with other characters. Does this match how you think they will act in private? If it's not the same, which it usually isn't, what do you think attributes for this difference? Lastly, something I do quite often is model certain aspects of my character off people in real life or other characters I see in literature, TV, or film. Write down these similarities to characters that you identify with. 
is there a certain energy that this person gives off that you could channel through your character? Do they exhibit any behaviors you could apply? Be sure not to blatantly copy a character. No two characters are exactly alike. You want to use their performances as more of a starting point and then flesh it out with what you personally feel is right in your character's specific situation. This is especially important in realism. Sometimes copying character traits from dramas can make your acting seem a little bit artificial and difficult to relate to. Um, finally, step four, developing physicality. So physicality is a really important part of building a character because each person, each individual person has their own unique way of moving. And to me, at least, physicality is the bridge between the real and fictional world. Working on your character's physicality and the way they move through space helps make them more real. So here are some questions that you can ask yourself to help with that. Um, does your character show emotions clearly on their face? Um, do they look others in the eye? What is their posture like? Do they have a, sign um, a signature facial expression? How do they move when they walk and how do they carry their weight in their body? What is their posture like? Do they move slowly or quickly? And does your character's physicality change at any point? And if so, when? And what causes the change and how does that affect your character?